Hi, I'm Liz. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> and we're the Adventure Closet. Sometimes. And today, we're doing a grocery haul in Vietnam in our own apartment. So come along with us. Hi, guys. Welcome to our apartment. It's kind of weird to show the bedroom first. But this is what everybody is used to us being in. Is uh, just a regular hotel room. Yeah, but the exciting part about this is we have more than just a bedroom. Yeah, so let's shine a light on the room here. Got a mirror, side table. A uh, little bit of a firm mattress. A uh, place to hang our clothes when we get them out of our bags. Charging station slash computer area. Oh yeah, that is true. It is king size mattress. And the bathroom with a shower. Uh, shower height check. Doesn't pass. But when you tip it up, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so this is our bedroom. And next, coming out here, have someone drinking a fake cup of tea. Uh, we got a kitchen, so we can actually try cooking with Liz and cooking with Charlie. Vietnamese edition. What you got? MSG. Oh, that might just be salt, but yeah. Uh, fridge freezer combo. Um, cooking pans, uh, induction burner. Is this a microwave or is this a, this is a microwave. Wow. Okay. I don't see a lot of those around here. Kettle. Yeah. Microwaves are not common in Vietnam, um, that we've seen. We have, I don't know what that is. Chopsticks, skewers, and spoons. A little reading though. You should have been in the reading chair reading instead of at the and table. I can't even read this book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there are other books here. Check out the little tree thing. Isn't that cute? And uh, we even have a washing machine. And a second bathroom. Number two for number two. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been like sitting on the toilet when you should be Reading, yes. <laughs> and then uh, there's even a little garden area out here. Check this out. So as you see, there's a, a moped and there are two other rooms here. So it is a community area. But we're thinking that this person might be leaving. There's only one other person here, I think. But we'll probably have this to ourselves eventually. We're here for 15 days through Tet. So that should be interesting. There's also a little barbecue over there, a couple chairs, some beautiful trees. It's gated. Uh, it's on a semi-quiet alleyway. And there's like cactus over here. A couple different kinds of cactus down there too. Some flower pots. Um, yeah, so all in all, this is a pretty nice place. Now, uh, we did splurge a little bit. Normally this place is like 400 uh, a night, 400,000 uh, Vietnamese dong, which is, I don't know, this much. We got it for 338, 800, which is this much. I hope I'm saying that right. Other than 
It's around fourteen dollars a night, fifteen dollars a night. Um, but we got it for fifteen nights, so we got a little deal. Uh, so yeah. We got a friend too. so tiny. It's a common four-clawed gecko. He's even got little spots on him. Look at that. Yeah. I shall name him Herman. Herman. You got pretty eyes, Herman. We have our first issue here. <laughs> We're supposed to lock the gate when we leave. And I think somebody's still in the this one here. So we want to lock it from the inside. But we can't do it. We look like we're trying to break into this place, and if somebody confronts us, we don't speak the language. <laughs> Lock them from the outside. <laughs> That's it. We're, we're sorry, person in here. Uh, hopefully, you. Uh, I'm sure you have smaller hands that can reach the lock. Yeah, like they could. They could totally reach. This. Yeah. In fact, if you just leave it kind of up like this for them, it'd be easier for them to put the key in. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go find some food. So that's 10 eggs here. Hi, Nothing So 40. <laughs> so how much was it? Uh, it was 40k. 40k. Nice. Okay. All right, let's uh Um, 
because in America, this would be $27 right here, just the eggs, right? This would be $10 sometimes. You'd probably get some cheap oil for like three, four, five bucks maybe. This would be $2 in the US. This is probably $2 worth of bananas in the US. Probably $2 worth of grapes. $2? Are you kidding? That'd be like $5 worth of grapes. All right, $5. Where we're from. <laughs> uh, uh, two and a half kilograms of rice, which is probably five pounds of rice. No. Uh, more than five pounds of rice, I think. Uh, a kilo and a half of rice noodles. Um, some other noodles, stuff like that. Okay, let's get down to prices. Start off with the most expensive thing. These chilies right here. These chilies we got for free. <laughs> uh, the lady that was selling us the ginger and the garlic ended up throwing them in for free because I just, I said I just wanted five chilies and she was like loading up the bag ready to put five kilograms of chilies in a bag for us. No, didn't want five kilograms. I just said, mot qua, and she laughed because it's not a fruit. <laughs> qua means fruit, um, and moat means one, or no, I said nam qua, yeah, five fruits, she, and she was like, okay, okay, <laughs> so we got the chilies for free, garlic, the garlic cost us 10k for all this garlic, two different kinds of garlic, this uh, giant piece of ginger here, 5,000 US or 5,000 Vietnamese uh, dong. The bananas. Bananas were 15,000. The eggs. Now, you, you all know, and, th and this is only 10 eggs. We could have bought them not in a package, which we probably should have in hindsight. We don't really need the packaging. It's 10 eggs for. 20k. Where's the eggs on the list? Oh, they're up at the top. <laughs> um, the limes and the kumquats, 10k. The onion, 10k. The bell pepper, 10k. 5k each for the taters. The rice, two and a half kilograms of rice, 60k. Which, this was a full a five kilogram bag, and we told the lady, we don't need that much. Yeah. And she just like grabbed the bag and cut it, cut it open and poured half of it into another bag. Yeah, yeah she weighed it <laughs> out too. So yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, oh, we'll come back to the story on the rice a little bit too, because it's kind of funny. Um, grapes were 25K. Salt was 2,000 Vietnamese dong. That's it. Two thousand. Two thousand. The peanuts. They cost us peanuts. They were twenty <laughs> k. Uh, these noodles here are worth thirteen thousand Vietnamese dong. These noodles here. One and a half kilograms. One and a half kilograms of these noodles here. Twenty k. Less than a dollar for over three pounds of noodles. Uh, this sauce, Chinsu chili sauce, really good stuff, 15k, less than a dollar. The oil, now this one, what do you think? Think this might be expensive? 53k, just over two US dollars for this big bottle of oil, which we're probably going to leave more than half of it here. And we did zero haggling in this uh, grocery shop. Yeah, it was, it, it was kind of a, um, a marketplace in the city, and it just got a bunch of stalls around. Um, and usually you can haggle at uh, a market. Pretty sure you can haggle in all the markets. Yeah, I'm sure you can handle in all the markets, but 
if it's for clothing or textiles or something that isn't like grown and you know something that takes time to grow and like take care of like if you're just whipping together a shirt or buying a bunch of shirts from china i'm gonna haggle you but on food i might pay with what it's worth i probably we, we probably would pay what it's worth yeah that's kind of that's a good way to put it how we've been doing choosing choosing to do our haggling is if it's somebody's purchased the goods for resale we'll haggle okay so let's tell you a story about the rice here we bought the rice actually okay we bought the oil this this and this all these not these hold this. on so this this so salt noodles sauce and oil we bought from this one lady and we originally walked in and we were like do you know where we can get some rice and we only know one word for rice which is come uh, and uh, apparently come is cooked rice so there's more than one word for rice the word for rice that we were looking for is gao and I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly Gao. Yeah. Gao. Yeah. So, we asked her, do you have any gong? And she pointed out towards the, the front of the market where the, all the cooked food was. And we're like, oh, okay. So then we, you know, we bought all this stuff and we were leaving to go, you know, look for the rice, which we didn't realize was cooked at this point still. And as we were leaving um, the market, this, this guy... Uh, this guy spoke English and he's like, oh, hey, what are you guys looking for? And uh, we told him we were looking for rice. And he's like, oh yeah, the markets are there. And I said, no, we need rice to cook. And he's all, oh. And he, then he starts bringing us back to the back of the, the shop and we end up going through the lady's store where we bought the oil and all that stuff. Who, who wrote us a very beautiful receipt, by the way. Which I ripped. Which is ripped. Like this is this was our handwritten receipt for the oil, the sauce, and the noodles and the salt. Um, and then, uh, as we were passing back through her stall, the guy asked her, "He's like, hey, do you know where we can get some rice?" And she's like, "Oh, I got rice right under our table here." And she like digs under her table, and pulls out this full five kilogram bag of rice, and she's like, "It's a hundred and." 18,000 for the bag and I said well we don't need that much um, so the guy translated for us and got her to split it in half for us which ended up costing 60,000 but long story short which is a really long story anyway because I just said the whole long story is there's two words for rice <laughs> there's probably more than two words for rice here cooked rice is gong uncooked rice is gao and that's part of the difficulty of learning another language is you think you know one thing, but you don't. We only know a little bit. TT is what we found out today was a little bit. But we found out there's more than one way to say that too, so. It's a difficult it's language. very difficult language. <laughs> but, so what was our total? Our total was 288,000 uh, Vietnamese dong, which all this is $11.78 at the time of filming. The, yeah. plus, the, the Vietnamese dong fluctuates from time to time, but it's usually only a couple cents difference. So we should be, we forgot a couple things. We need to go get some greens. We needed to get some basil and stuff. Um, and water, because we can't drink the water here. But I feel like we have quite a few meals here to yeah. save us some money by not going out. Um, $10 is almost how much we spend for one day of eating. Usually we're somewhere around fifteen to twenty dollars a day. If we go out for I tea think. and coffee. Yeah. I might have my numbers off there, but I feel like this is going to save us a little bit and if we keep buying food while we're we have this apartment, we'll be doing good and that will help pay for this splurge of the bike and the apartment. Yeah, like you said, uh, 
we probably average at least $10 a day on food. So we usually spend around, around that for a whole day of eating here in Vietnam. And that's eating out. That's our coffee, our uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and sometimes we go get a chasua, which is a milk tea. Um, if we buy any Western food, though, it, our budget probably goes to around like 20 a day. Uh, we, uh, a Western food meal is about $10 if you want like a drink in a meal. Yeah. So, um, I think we're doing pretty good here with buying this. This will be um, replacing probably a lot of breakfasts and lunches. We'll probably still end up going out for dinner. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll still get some snacks and stuff here and there, but we're trying to trying to recoup some of the money we, we've spent for splurging on this place, which really $12 a night is not really even a splurge. No, and we can do our laundry here, so that helps. That, so laundry's free. Um, yeah, and we're gonna try and find some instant coffee or something so we don't have to go out for coffee. Yeah. And that'll save a few bucks a day. We're slow um, little starters in the morning, and in Vietnam, you kind of have to wake up early to get the good food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charlie's waiting for the guy to come deliver us a motorbike. We're renting it for the next couple of weeks. And it's kind of nice that they're going to deliver it right to the apartment. And this guy come in with like seven he's helmets. Like, he's, <laughs> he's gonna open up a straight jacket. Yeah. <laughs> helmet? Um, it's hard to find a helmet my size in, in Vietnam. Uh, it's uh, I've only found a couple, but they do exist, so that's good. Which is kind of crazy because it was hard for me in America to find a helmet my size. Like I had to, when, when we had motorcycles, I had to custom order a 3XL, like full face helmet. And it was like 200 bucks. <laughs> so we've rented this machine for the next 15 days uh, while we're staying at our, our uh, little homestay thing. And, uh, it's only a 110, but it's got more pickup than the one we've been driving around, which is kind of crazy. It's a lot lighter than the one we've been driving around, too. Um, but this costs uh, 1.3 million uh, Vietnamese dong for, for 15 days. Um, yeah, not bad. That's this much a day in U.S. dollars. And he gave me a couple days free uh, is how he kind of put the discount. He's like, oh, you only pay for 12, but you get to keep it for 15. And um, plus a another discount on top of that. So pretty good. Uh, this is the company we went through. Also included uh, ponchos, which we have, but it's nice that they're included. That's, that's pretty legit. This is what's going to get us around town um, since we're kind of not really in much walking distance from anywhere. Uh, the way I got it is I just messaged him on uh, Zalo, which is kind of like WhatsApp, which is kind of like Facebook, book, which is kind of like Facebook Messenger, and uh, I messaged him in English, and he messaged me back in English. Um, so I didn't need to 
Google Translate anything or anything like that. And uh, I messaged him originally a few days ago, just asking him how much you know a, a single day rental was because we didn't know we were staying here this long. And uh, I messaged him back again saying, oh, well, we, we'd already rented a bike, but I'll let you know if we need a bike later because we rented one from the hotel. And uh, he didn't hound me after that, which is very good for customer service here. Uh, I've messaged some people before on Zalo, and um, once you message them, their sales kicks in, and they keep trying to message you back, getting you to um, trying to get you to. to rent from them or whatever the the thing is that they want you to do or that you wanted originally but you've already found somewhere else so it's it's nice this is a very easy company to deal with so far i i just picture him now rummaging through all his helmets trying to find the biggest helmet he could find <laughs> I don't know if we've mentioned it before, but that uh, the loudspeaker on a, on a motorbike is usually people driving around selling goods like that. It's kind of a little quirky thing here in Vietnam. There's even sometimes people sitting at stands on the side of the roads and uh, they'll have a loudspeaker going, which I can't imagine just driving around listening to your voice saying, buy my coffee, buy my food all day long like you can still hear it and they'll start at like 5 a.m. too <laughs> that was a different guy he's selling bum bao. So he's just walking around with a bicycle and he had Bon Bao just on the back of his uh, bike in a little case. I hope you enjoyed our grocery haul. And seeing our new place, <laughs> uh, that we will be our own base for a while. Um, yeah. The nicest place we've stayed in quite a long time. So we're happy to be here and we hope you guys will join us for the next episode and where we will probably be going on some fun adventures because we have a bike now. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, liking and subscribing and checking us out on Patreon. And we hope you guys have a fantastic day or night. And bye now. Bye now. And I just wanted to say thank you to all our new Vietnamese friends. We love learning about your country through your comments. This is so awesome. Thank you. I'm Please glad you mentioned coming. that. Yeah, that has been one of the unexpected treasures of us coming to Vietnam is how helpful everybody has been in the comments and in real life as we've tried to explore the cities. Yes, and if you guys are wanting to learn more about Vietnam, go back, check our older videos, look in the comments because there's some nice little tidbits from, from our Vietnamese viewers there. Mm -hmm. And usually if it's written in Vietnamese, sometimes Google will add a translate button so you can see what they were saying. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye, Bye now. now.